I, I know you know his game well, but just uh, your assessment of James Harden in his debut, his first game with the team, and how he looked. Man, it was uh, incredible. You could see him uh, trying to figure out the best way to play early on. I felt like we all were overpassing, trying to make everybody comfortable, and then he just got into his mode of you know, being aggressive to score, and that opened up the whole game for all of us. So, you know, I'm glad he got his feet up under him, and he's got to keep plugging away, keep being better each day. Was there an increased, I know he's new, and of course you're going to do a lot of talking there, but kind of increased communication across the board with the team so that you guys are locked in at the test game? Yeah, I mean, you got James, myself, Jeff, DJ out there, Joe, guys who've been in the league for a while, I think all of us, um, you know, on the same page and communicating what we need from each other on the defensive side of the ball, especially on offense. I think we were moving and flowing a little bit uh, on offense, you know, based off our communication. You know, we didn't have a play coming across half and guys were talking guys through actions and um, same on the defensive side of the ball. So we're only going to get better at that. And, um, you know, it's going to take some time for us to build up that consistency of, you know, how we want to play on both ends. But, you know, it was a good step. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, KD, uh, during his introductory press conference, James was asked what part of his game he needed to improve or emphasize or whatever. He said playmaking. And he, he in Houston, he kind of pounded the ball. But tonight, he moved the ball. And there were moments where when you and he and Harris were moving the ball, the defense was paralyzed. What do you think uh, this kind of debut does for him? What message does it send in terms of sacrifice and how he's willing to play and yet be able to still step up and score? Yeah, I mean, James, uh, I didn't, he played the same way he always played, to be honest. I mean, he played the same way he was playing in Houston, you know, handling the basketball, being a pass first guard, trying to get his guys uh, good looks. You know, he played the same way. and. Um, you know, coach put him at the point. I think that's his natural position, to be honest. Um, his point and you know, off guard, you know, combo guard, and you know, for him to uh, come out and get 14 assists, 12 rebounds for us at the point guard was uh, was key. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. So, uh, you and James have what I guess seven scoring titles between you, and Todd probably has the most iconic shot in the last. 10 years. I mean, when you have three guys that are so accustomed to leading teams, getting late buckets, big, big shots, what's the biggest key to making sure that all three of you can be as good or as dominant as you're accustomed to being, but still keep the main thing the main thing? Um, well, understand is more than just us three on this basketball team. You know, we're going to need Joe Harris to continue to knock down shots, TLC. We we'll need DeAndre to roll to the rim hard and our bigs to come in and, and help set screens and rebound. And so I think it's a group effort, and that's going to you know, open up the floor for, for all of us. And, you know, it's having high IQ guys who are unselfish, who, you know, uh, want to make the extra passes, you know, we'll see how it plays out. You know, each game is different. I think we want to approach each game with that attitude of just all of us being who we are and being aggressive, but, you know, being on one string. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, obviously you and James have kept in touch and worked out together over the years, but it's been a while since you two were in an official NBA game together. Does the rapport you two have with each other kind of translate pretty quickly, given given your ties, or did it take a couple of sessions for that to really get in a full swing? Um, no, I mean, like I said, having veteran guys and, and, and being in the league for so long, you didn't worked on so many different schemes and, and, and offensive actions, you kind of know uh, how to play the game. And, you know, it's not just me and James. Jeff's the same way. DJ's the same way. Kyrie's the same way. You know, guys that have been in the league for almost 10 plus years where, you know, we could just sometimes we don't even have to speak to, to know what we're thinking. And, and, you know, guys are, you know, just understand each other. And we've been studying each other for so long, scouting each other for so long. So that IQ was just there, you know, it's only going to get better.